Good morning, SPS staff. Thanks for your uh, patience as we get uh, everybody up and running and logged in. So we're using Teams for this meeting to, to handle the volume of staff that we uh, will have joining us today. But just want to begin uh, by hoping and uh, wishing you all well as we approach the start to the most unimaginable beginning that any of us have ever thought uh, was possible. And I'd like to begin by thanking you for all your hard work and all the efforts that you have put in over the summer to help our students have the most positive uh, beginning uh, given the circumstances that we're in. And I'd like to particularly thank those of you that gave input along the way to our planning, those of you that participated in our reopening task force, and those of you that participated in the bargaining process with the Spokane Education Association. I know that everybody has given so much and invested so much to lead us up to this moment to begin the year in a distance learning model. And our children, they're the most precious possessions that we have. And you, our staff, are the most valuable asset that our community has to ensure they receive the education that they deserve. And the decision to begin the year with our school buildings closed for full in-person instruction and to begin the year in a distance model uh, was not made lightly. On any given day, we are following literally hundreds of guidelines and recommendations from public health officials. We're a large school district. We have over 30,000 kids, over 4,000 staff members across 54 schools. And in order to keep everyone safe, we rely on those safety guidelines and recommendations. And from a practical and liability perspective, we're gonna remain committed to following the guidance of public health officials. And we're not gonna begin the practice of picking and choosing which guidelines to follow. Safety has to be the top priority. And I know that we all believe that in-person instruction is what we want for our students. We desperately want our kids to come back to our buildings. Our schools are the hub and the heart of our community. And we want to continue to be there for them. But we're gonna have to start the, way, the year in a little bit different environment than what we had hoped. And there's gonna be challenges associated with that. And there's gonna be bumps. We've redesigned and revisioned how we do operations in our district and how we do teaching. It's like nothing we've ever experienced. And that's a lot of change for everyone. And we need grace. Give yourself grace. Give each other grace. Change is hard. Learning new things is hard. Any typical beginning of the year, school year always feels like a rush for all of us. And any typical beginning always feels uh, pretty stressful as we plan and we prepare to start the year. And this is different. This is a different level of stress. This is a different level of fatigue. And I know you're weary and we need to give each other grace right now. And we need to look forward and be hopeful. This moment won't be defined by perfection. It'll be defined by our values, our values of community, relationships, professionalism, our belief that no matter who you are, no matter where you come from, no matter what your background is, no matter what challenges you have, education is a pathway for you to have a happy and a bright future. We have to hold on to that because it's gonna be challenging and there's gonna be unknowns in the day ahead. And we're gonna need each other more than ever. And more than ever, we need to commit to equity for our students of color and those that are farthest from educational justice to ensure they feel valued and they feel a sense of connection and success in our schools. This moment is like no moment we've ever experienced. And it's gonna take all of us working together, coming together, partnering together to get through it, to provide our kids the experience that we know that they deserve. And we have to remain hopeful. There's so many things that aren't perfect about this moment. There's lots of things that we don't like. There's lots of things that we wish we could change. But hope and optimism and a commitment to our values and a focus on our values is what's gonna get us through. I know that many of you, your day is going to look different. The demands of your job look different. Your roles and responsibilities have changed. And together we can get through this. Together we can get through the details. We can get through the shifts. 
we can get through what looks different and we can partner together. If we give each other grace, we focus on our values, if we stay together, we work together, we're gonna persevere through this moment. And we're gonna show our kids, not only right now, but as they look to us as role models, what it looks like to come together as a community. One of the really important parts of that is that we encourage each other and that we lift each other up. It's easy when you're frustrated and when you're down and when you're tired and when you're weary, it's easy, right? It's easy to look at what's not working and it's easy to look and point about what the challenges are. And we need to encourage each other to keep our head up, to stay positive, to stay focused on our kids, to continue to put them first, to take care of each other, to be well, to be balanced to the best of your ability. There's gonna be moments this year where you need to take a step back, you need to close the lid of the laptop, you need to push away from the desk, or you need to put down the tool and take a deep breath and remind yourself why the work you do is so important. Each person in our district plays an invaluable role to support our kids. Certificated, classified, administrator, everyone plays an important part of providing our kids the experience that they need to be successful. And again, we've got to all come together in this moment and encourage each other. So I don't want to spend a lot of time uh, talking with you. And what I really want us to focus on this morning is, is action, moving forward together in action, encouraging each other in action. And so what I'd like for everybody to do is I'd like for everybody to take the next 20 minutes and send three people an email of encouragement in our district. Could be a teaching partner, could be a custodian, could be a secretary, could be an administrator, could be a central office leader. Anybody that is in your circle, in your world, in our district, that uh, you know needs that little encouragement. There's almost 4,000 of us. If we all send three emails of encouragement, that's 12,000 emails in the next 20 minutes that we can push out to our system, that we can lift each other up, we can encourage each other, and we can know that we can get through this together. If we hang in there, if we work together, we're gonna persevere. We're gonna get through this moment. Again, it's not gonna be perfect. Perfection won't define this moment. What will define this moment is all the ideals and all the values that make Spokane's Public Schools so special. Your expertise, your hard work, your sacrifice, your commitment. Spokane Public Schools is a place where people always go the extra mile. And then you go another mile and another mile and another mile for kids. And you've done that in this moment. And I know that you will continue to do that as you look to do everything you can to help our community and our kids through this really challenging time there's brighter days ahead. We'll get there. So right now, what I'd like for you to do is send three people of your choosing, could be anybody, send three separate emails of encouragement, lift them up, point out the things you appreciate about them, point out how you know how they make a difference for kids, for families, and for fellow staff members. So I really appreciate, again, all your hard work, all your time, all your sacrifices, what you've given personally of yourself, it's all for the right reasons. And it's all for kids. And that's what makes our district special. Some of you are gonna be coming back at 8.30. We're gonna be talking more about our equity resolution, our commitment to authentically serve and support our students of color and those that are furthest from educational justice. And then others will come back at 12.30 based on your schedule. Uh, to have those conversations. So again, right now, what I'd like for you to do is send those three emails of encouragement and uplift each other. And as we move forward together, uh, we'll stay in close communication. Please don't ever hesitate to reach out um, and share what you're feeling, what you're thinking, uh, what, you, what you would like to celebrate, and also where you think we need to adjust and do better. So take care. Please send those three emails of encouragement and together we can get through this.